I, mean, I never have to think twice. I mean, I've, I often say to fellas, right, if, you, if, you could, if you're in doubt about bait, take yourself a bag of tutti fruities and a sort of nice fish mealy variety bait as well, and then you've got the best of both worlds. And if you can't catch carp on that, then, you, well, you're in the wrong spot. And uh, with this particular session, if we can't let us, this particular section has been, been quite productive. And what I've done, I've started. Sorry about that. It's quite an heavy fish. Uh, I think it's a case of nip one per one here, I think. <laughs> How about the outtakes? <laughs> God, I don't know. <laughs> He's got a little bit slippery down here, like landing over them fish. <laughs> Fish, I can get him down this way. Here he goes. I believe he's worth getting a wet leg for. This is a jewel in the crown. The best carp I've caught this session, and quite a big one at that. I reckon that's possibly 25 pounds. That one, and what a gorgeous looking carp! Look at that, absolute cracker. Yeah, they don't get much prettier than that. All right, can okay, I make this heavy back? Look, it's your fault. All my socks and trousers are wet. Worth it though. Oh, look at that. That is a carp to die for. Don't get his breath. The buzzer's going off over the other side. It's an unbelievable place, this. So we don't like, don't like that weed, do you? This particular section has been, been quite productive. And what I've done, I've started, I've predominantly used two different setups. You've got this setup here, which is a real sort of aggressive pop-up rig. A little short, actually, you know, quite like, like stiff rig. And that really does sort of nail the fish. I mean, they suck that hook in, I mean, to be honest with you, they don't really get a second chance. However, the problem is on this lake, I mean, quite a few of the carp are small, so I don't really like the idea of using these. It's not actually a bent hook, but I've made it curved with the use of shrink tube. Uh, but because the carp are small on this lake, it's a little bit... It can be, you know, can sort of be a little bit damaging to their mouths. I've been using bottom baits as well, like it's just a single tutti fruities, and also in conjunction with little bags of the Richworth CSL pellets, little tiny ones. I like these little tiny pellets. Just been attaching a bag of those, and uh, I've also been, you know, catching a few fish on like, artificial sweet corn as well. Something this this time of year. I mean, when you get sort of late May, early June. Very often, like small, tiny hook baits can be the one, and uh, on some occasions, like the boilies are the best bet. And on other occasions, you know, things like plastic sweet corn, uh, maize, and things like that can catch you more carp. But those little bags, little tiny bags of little tiny small pellets, just a little mouthful for each carp, and that's what um, just you know, that's what catches loads.
unless it's got a lot of weed on it, it just does fill a heavy fish. Certainly the productive old water. There's supposedly something like 1,800 carp in here. Here we go. And uh, most of them are relatively young fish, and I think in a few years' time, it's going to be a phenomenal water. Will here be nice when it gets to about 30 pounds? There we go, good old tooty fruities. It's a bait that's been catching them for absolutely donkey's years, and I don't think there's a carp in the world that don't like them. And just something about the Richworth ones that makes them just that little bit special. Certainly give a good account of yourself, these old fish. It's a fantastic water for a day to get fishery. It's, you know, it's nicely kept. Plenty of space between all the swims. That hard fighting carp. He's a better fish, I think. There you go, mate. Back to see your mates. Tell them not to pick up another one of them tooty fruities. There we go. <laughs> A long lead fighting machine. <laughs> I mean, it's getting on for 20 pound, I think, this one. You can see he's had loads of battles, can't you? Look, he's got all, all the line marks down him where he's fought loads of battles and won probably most of them, I would think, mate, didn't you? Well, he didn't win this time. Next time, don't pick up any of these little orange boilies and you won't end up on the bank. Coming out that weed. Next time I'll come here, I'll, uh, I'll eat three Weetabix. 